What's up everyone, Patrick here. And in this next question, what we're told is that a bike manufacturer produced 355 bikes in one day working two different shifts. So the second shift produced 29 less bikes than seven fifths of the bikes produced in the first shift. And we have to figure out how many bikes were produced in each shift. So what I'm gonna do, introduce two variables. So X would be the number of bikes produced in the first shift. And then Y would be the number of bikes produced in the second shift. So we know the total of them the total of the number of bikes producing each shift have to be 355, right? There was only two shifts in the day. And then notice that the next sentence shows us a relationship between the number of bikes produced in each shift. So we're told the second shift, which is why, produced 29 less bikes than seven fifths of the bikes produced in the first shift. So the second shift, produce 29 less bikes than seven fifths of the bikes produced in the first shift. So if we take seven over five, multiply it by the uh, number of bikes produced in the first shift, 29 less than that is gonna give us the number of bikes produced in the second shift, right? The second shift produced 29 less bikes than seven fifths of the bikes produced in the first shift. And so now notice we could just take this expression, plug it in for this y, so we'd have x plus 7 over 5x minus 29 equals 355. Now we could have also made this expression right away. We didn't necessarily need two equations. Uh, we could have just had one variable, x being the number of bikes produced in the first shift, and then with the wording just create an expression for that um, second shift. But personally, I like to have two variables. So what we can do here now, bring the negative 29 over, so we'd have 355 plus 29, which would give us what, 384? So we would have 384, and then notice we'll have 1x plus 7 over 5, which is like 5 over 5x plus 7 over 5, which would give us 12 over 5x, like that. And what we can do here is we could say 12x over 5 equals 384 over 1. Another thing you could do is you could take 384 divided by 12 over 5. So if we do this, cross multiply, we'll have 5 times 384, divide both sides by 12. x would end up being 160, like that. All right, so that's the number of bikes produced in the first shift. Then if we want the number of bikes produced in the second shift, we could just take this x value, plug it in here. So we have seven over five times 160 minus 29. 7 over 5 times 160, you could take 160 multiplied by 7 divided by 5. That would give you 224. Subtract 29, and we would end up with 195. So that's the number of bikes produced in the second shift. All right, so those are the two answers. Notice that if we add these up, we do indeed end up getting 355 bikes for the total day. All right, so that's the number of bikes produced in the first shift. That's the number of bikes produced in the second shift.